Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Debra. Little snacks around the world action today. Um, with something a little bit different. Isn't it always usually something a little bit different? <laughs> today I decided to actually have to heat something up in the oven. Uh, I would call it cooking something, but not really. I have made these on my own before, but I decided to pick these up when I saw them at Publix. Publix is a grocery store in the southern US. You probably have some in grocery stores where you are, or you can make them fresh. It's not difficult, but this is easier. <laughs> and I haven't tasted them yet to see how they compare. Um, these are platanos maduros, ripe plantains. And all you do with ripe plantains, now they show them with some brown sugar and some cinnamon. Trust me, it is not needed, okay? Um, with ripe plantains, you peel them, you cut them, you fry them, and you can smush them and fry them again. Oh yes. Now plantains look like bananas in their raw, unopened form, but they, their texture and everything is more akin to the starchiness of a potato. And these are not a diet food by any means. Let me tell you, the ingredient in this, all that's in this is ripe plantain and oil because they're meant to be you know fried that's it there is no added sugar there is no added anything to this and this container is 11 ounces 302 grams okay and it says there are about three and a half servings in this little container and in each of those servings are 29 grams of total carbs if you have to count carbs because you're diabetic or for whatever reason you count carbs you know that is a lot of carbs for not much serving. And I don't know anybody who can just sit, sit down and eat 85 grams of platanos. No, because platanos are life, okay? This is just boxed. It was the frozen food section. And um, instructions, in case you're wondering about this, in the oven, preheat oven to 350, place the frozen plantains on a non-stick baking sheet. I lined a baking sheet with parchment paper because these suckers get sticky when they're sweet. Bake 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown. That's it. Or you can fry them. Preheat deep fry oil to 350, fry frozen plantains four to five minutes or until golden brown. Drain on paper towels before serving. The usual fry instructions. Or you can nuker wave them. Uh, frozen plantains in a microwave safe dish cover microwave on high three to four minutes let's stand on stand covered one minute before serving so you can do it any of those ways they've also got the instructions in Spanish below which I would happily read out loud to you but I don't think that's necessary they've also got like a recipe on here for easy glazed plantains and they helpfully put it in Spanish for you as well but um you know, this involves brown sugar and butter and cinnamon. Trust me, try them without anything on them first. Now, I, like I said, I'm going to try that. I think the pan is still a little warm to hold. So I'm going to use my little tattered pot holder on this sucker. And I'm just going to get a small one. Mm. Oh, yes. A little warm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god. Y'all. <laughs> Plantains are so freaking delicious, okay? And it is way cheaper just to get the fresh plantains and do it yourself. Seriously. But this is a convenience food. This is a snack. I could have just nuker them. But I decided to put them in the oven because I knew that they would come out beautiful and glistening. And there is no sugar on this. All the sugar, <laughs> they're calling from inside the house. All the sugar is in there. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. If I remember correctly, those are like $2.50 or $3 for the box. I bought two boxes. Oh my gosh. Y'all, platanos are life, okay? This, if you're wondering where it's from, products around the world, um, this is a product of Honduras, but I don't think that there is a 
Central or South American country that I'm aware of, or even some island countries that don't use plantains. Plantains are wonderful. And if they're not the super ripe version that are super sweet, you can use them for other things. They become a savory component. They're seriously though. Mm. Oh my gosh. I want to eat this whole box worth. I'm not even kidding. You ever try plantains? Give it a shot. If you're afraid of you know, dealing with the whole thing and the, doing the frying and all of that, find a box of frozen. The frozen, <laughs> oh my gosh, I hadn't tried the frozen before. Super good and will keep me from frying all day long because I will, basically when I buy plantains, I buy a lot of them, a lot of them, like when they're on sale at La Unica or one of my favorite, um, it's, it's basically a Latin American grocery store up in Greenville. If they're on sale, they have huge displays of them in the store. And I like buy bunches and bunches and like, like mounds of them. And then I spend a long time at the fryer <laughs> or a, a pan of oil frying, one of the two. Or sometimes both, okay? Yeah, it's a thing. Those are a thing. Wow, wow. All right. If you saw the thumbnail, you may have seen this. And I got this at Dollar Tree. And I thought it was interesting. And then I realized where it was from. So I said, hey, hey, snacks around the world. An excuse to eat and or drink something. Okay. Uh, this is Nature's Goodness 100% pomegranate juice. 60 calories per serving. And it's a one serving per bottle. No, it's two servings per container. I lied. Sorry. One pomegranate per bottle. Two servings. In this little bottle, eight and a half ounces, 250 mil. It says from Concentrate. Uh, as far as where it's from, product of Azerbaijan, bottled in Russia. Store at a cool place, shake before serving, refrigerate after opening, and drink within three days. So I'm giving it a good shaky shake. And as far as calories go per serving, 60 calories per serving, 15 grams of carbs. So that's actually not bad. Um, for a juice because anybody who has to watch carbs know that juices are just awful for carbs. Now let's see if I can get this open. I heard the pop. It was a sealed thing. Okay. Oh, and there's plastic on it, which I didn't realize. So we got a little double seal action going there. Best before 11-26 of 2023. I expected it to have more of a powerful scent. I don't know why, but I did. Mm. Nicely fruity. And there is no added sugar. This is just uh, water and pomegranate juice concentrate. That's it. That's quite yummy, actually. It's a little bit tart because pomegranates tend to have a little tartness to them, which I happen to like. If you know, I, I really do like tart things. Unfortunately, I would drink this all day long. And I say unfortunately because there's a lot of sugar up in there. But not bad. If they have them at your Dollar Tree or your Dollar 25 tree, just give it a shot. You know, just to try it. Just to say you've tried 100% pomegranate juice. Because I know that you can buy them like in the grocery stores where they have in the separate like organic juice section or whatever. 100% juice, no sugar added, no blah blah blah. Those are always expensive. And you don't want to buy a big jar of it. Yeah, it's probably less per ounce than this. But you don't want to buy a big jar of it if it's something you're really not going to like. Try it out in a small form first. Sometimes that's what the Dollar Tree is for. You can find something that, I'll try a little. Oh yeah, it's actually pretty good. I'll go get the bigger one where it's cheaper. And I don't think I've ever had anything from Azerbaijan before. Or bottled in Russia for that matter. I expected it to be beet juice bottled in Russia. I know, stereotype, but yes, or is potato. Yeah. This doesn't necessarily combine with the platanos, but I like them both. Today is definitely a thumbs up all around day from the fat chick. Fat chick approved all the way.
the hand is napping. So the hand may miss out on these plantains. I need to take some more insulin home while eat all these myself. Yeah, it is that much uh, sweets and sugars. Let's get a little, a little bite here. Look at that. Look at that gold and delicious. It looks like it's glazed, doesn't it? And they've got a recipe to add glaze to it. Why? There's no need. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That, my friends, is freaking delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today for a little snacks around the world action and something I had to heat up y'all. What? There might be some more of that coming soon. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but I know I'm tickled about it. I hope that you are too. Get a little sip of those. <clears throat> Almost tried to breathe it instead of drink it. Not recommended. Not recommended at all. But that juice? Recommended. Even if you've never tried a pure juice with no added what do you whats and, and, and anything like that. Want to give it a shot? Give it a shot. It's going to cost you a buck. Buck and a quarter. Buck and a quarter. I forgot. Thank you for coming by for some snacks around the world action. And uh, where are you going to try a snack from today? Hopefully something new that you've never had before. I've had the plantains before, but just not in this from this format, from the frozen box. I uh, had never had the pomegranate juice before. It's always nice to try something new. I'll see y'all very, very soon. Please do the like, subscribe, all the youtube -y things. Leave me a comment down below. And um, let's all go eat something yummy. <laughs>